We know from experience that people feel safe and protected when they say no. I mean, that's why people say no to everything. You know, they get it. Their default answer is no. And I started looking back on, like when my son was 17 and the words, Dad, can I, came out of his mouth. I would immediately say no. But I reflected back on that, and then I would always say, now that I said no, what was it that you wanted? And I look back, and I realize that I was always more open to the conversation after I said no. So the specific neuroscience behind it, you know, that, that's one of my conversations with Huberman, because I was lucky enough to meet him, uh, you know, for my birthday a couple months ago. My girlfriend, Wendy, convinced him to come down and have lunch with me as a birthday present, and he is an interesting cat. And who is it, who is we talked for hours about the neuroscience. Okay, good. His, his name is Andrew Huberman. He, he does a podcast out of Stanford, and he is he's like what you want in a PhD because you know a lot of PhDs they just they want to be Jesus because I said so. It's true because I said so. Huberman's a PhD, but he says here's here's the data, here's a study, peer reviewed, solid data. Don't listen to me because I said so. Go to the sources that I've come to. And uh, so his 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 info is very solid, and plus he's an interesting cat. And so we've talked about that. I th I threw some things at him, like I know this to be true. Let's figure out what the neuroscience is behind it. And I stumped him a couple of times. But you know, you originally asked me about what's the neuroscience be behind no. We just know anecdotally how it opens people up. We got enough experience team wise. That you know, we just we got everybody that we coach in a Black Swan method to get comfortable with it, and they accelerate their lives.